Hello, hello, hello. What's up? It's your girl, Twan the Mystic from HouseMystic.com. Hello and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, what's up? I am Twan, Twan the Mystic, and welcome to my channel. Okay. Um, so today's reading, we are going to be talking all about Venus retrograde and how it will be transforming your love life. Okay. So light your incense, light your blunts, light your candles. Okay. Because we about to get real deep with this reading. Okay. And if you love deep and insightful pick a cards, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So you're updated every single time I drop something new. Okay. Okay, so before we get into the piles, well, actually, if you want to go ahead and go to the timestamp for your pile selection, go to my description or go to my comment section and you can go to the timestamps and just go ahead and go to the pile selection and then go to your timestamp for your pile. But I wanted to talk a little bit about Venus retrograde and what it is, okay? So Venus retrograde, what is that? What the hell is that, right? Um, so basically when a planet goes retrograde, it's it's talking about its orbit. So when you look at the planets from from Earth, it's like the the planet that's retrograde, it's almost like because their their orbit slows down. Their orbit slows down and then it almost looks like it's starting to go backwards because the rest of the planets are moving at their regular pace. So it's almost, when you look at it, it almost looks like they're actually going backwards, but they're not. They're just moving slower than the rest of the planets, okay? So that's what it means, like, like in a science, scientifically speaking, <laughs> what it means retrograde. But when you get into what does it mean like astrologically for the rest of us, right? So basically Venus, Venus is a planet of beauty, luxury, values, abundance, um, our relationships, um, um, our talents, our, did I already say money? But if I didn't, money, okay? So um, when it goes retrograde, it can cause some, I don't want to scare people, but it can sometimes cause setbacks in certain relationships or with finances or with, um, with certain things that are Venus themed. Okay. But it doesn't necessarily have to be setbacks. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. Cause I, I hate that whole like fear mongering thing with, uh, with retrogrades, but there can be some downsides. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Like you may begin to notice during Venus retrograde, a lot of people breaking up, a lot of people realizing they've been settling for less in relationships, um, maybe certain problems that's been coming up in relationships over and over again. It might come up again um, for you guys to try to solve it. Um, there may be like unexpected expenses, um, unexpected purchases that you have to make, or maybe regretting some purchases that you make and having to read the fine print before making certain purchases, you know, things like that. So, uh, yeah, but I feel like the good thing about Venus retrograde is it gives you that time to go within and reflect and reevaluate your values. Like, what do you want in relationships? Like, if you're not getting what you want in relationships, start making it clear. Like, what do you want? What do you want from relationships? Um, and then as far as money goes, like, maybe if you're feeling like you're underappreciated and undervalued and underpaid at your job, what type of job do you want? What type of, um, like, what would make you happy as far as, like, how much you want to get paid and where you want to work and how you want to feel when you're at work or when you're working on your business or, you know, whatever it is. But it's time to go within and look at that because maybe the the energy you've been putting out is what's getting you those same results because Venus is the planet of attraction as well. Like, what are you attracting? So you're going to, I feel like many of us are going to start looking at, what do we keep attracting? Why and why? And why and how can we change that up? Like, for example, since this is a love reading, we will be talking about how it's transforming your love life. But um, do you notice that you attract the same things in relationships? 
Are you noticing that you attract the same type of person? And how can you transform that? Like, as far as like, okay, I keep attracting these guys or women that are emotionally unavailable. And then you start to look at yourself. Are you being emotionally unavailable? Or do you notice the signs of someone being emotionally unavailable, but then you just ignore them and then you just keep going and then you get disappointed because you're like, dang, the signs was there. They were emotionally unavailable, you know? Like, just starting to look at the patterns that you are recycling, I guess you would say, in relationships, maybe even with money, just with... Just paying attention to things that are Venus themed. Okay, so yes, you may notice a lot of breakups. You may notice um, this could even be a time where old, an old person comes back into your life. Someone that maybe ghosted you or someone that um, you once had dealings with or something. Maybe someone you were with or something like if you're single and some uh, they decide to come back into your life. You know, it's something like that, but... Um, those are just the some of the themes or some of the things that could happen during Venus retrograde. Just wanted to give you a little info. But oh, let me also talk about it being in Leo. So Leo, um, I feel like with Venus being retrograde in Leo, and it's so funny because I actually have this placement in my chart. My, my Venus is in Leo and it's retrograde. So it's just so crazy that this is like happening right now. But yeah. Um, with it being in Leo, I definitely feel like this is going to cause some some people look to look at certain relationships that they've just been loyal to or maybe a job that they've been loyal to, a way of making money that you've just been loyal to and you're just like, no, this ain't it. I feel like a lot of people are going to start saying like, no, this ain't it. I need to... I need to take my loyalty elsewhere. I need to take my talents elsewhere. I need to rethink my loyalty to these certain things, these certain people, this job, this career, this this way of living. Like you're going to start questioning that. I definitely feel for some of you guys um, and becoming more loyal to someone else or something else or you know, or maybe to yourself, because maybe you notice that you give your energy to people all the time, and now it's time to focus on you. So it can it can play out. Oh, okay, that was a that was confirmation. Okay, <laughs> okay. So yes, uh, that's the some of the info I wanted to give you about Venus retrograde. So now we're gonna go to the timestamps and or not the timestamps, the pile selection, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so today's reading, you know, I gotta be different. I gotta be unique. Okay, so for today's reading, the pile selection, instead of you guys choosing from, you know, uh, just numbers, today you guys are gonna be choosing bags. Okay, bags for my Venus retrograde collection that is available on housemusic.com. Okay, so um, <laughs> for pile number one, we have the numbers 444. But it's my bag, one with the universe. Okay, that's available on housemusic.com. And then we have pile number two with the number 777. But it has my bag, creator 222 from um, from my, my Venus retrograde collection. Okay, and then we have pile number three with the number 1010. Okay, and the the bag is the bag from my Venus retrograde collection called Divine 777. Okay, so go to the timestamps in my description or in my comment section and click the timestamps that corresponds with your pile and I will see you there. Hello, hello, hello. Those of you that chose pile number one with the number 444, but the bag um called one with the universe okay that bag is available on housemystic.com okay and so is like my other arts and my other witchy creations and i just dropped a collection called venus retrograde okay which was inspired by venus retrograde okay um and all this stuff are hand painted and revamped and recreated by your girl twana mystic okay so yeah that's in the description so let's get into how your love life will be transforming 
during Venus retrograde, okay? So let's see. We have... Ooh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, I might need to fix the camera a little bit. Okay. Well, whatever. And then we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? And then we have, ooh, okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so if you didn't watch the intro part where I talked about Venus retrograde and what that could mean for the collective, um, it's making me think of some of the things I said in there. Okay, so maybe if you feel called to go back and watch that, definitely do so. So... One of the things I was talking about was for some of you guys, like if you are currently in a relationship, there could be certain things that kind of like come up that's been coming up within the relationship over and over and over and over again. Um, yeah. And if you're currently in a relationship, I feel like. Venus retrograde is a time where you may feel a little tested in your relationship and you are being called to try to work on things and maybe like bring the romance back, bring the romance back, especially if there's been a lot of stress, if you guys have been experiencing money issues, if you guys have been experiencing any type of issues um, within the relationship, I think you guys bringing the romance back to the relationship and working on things between you guys and making sure you guys are on the same page, I think will be one of the ways that Venus retrograde will help with, with, um, transforming your love life for those of you that are in a relationship. Um, and then also for those of you that's in a relationship, I feel like both of you guys just need to let loose a little bit. <laughs> let loose a little bit and maybe go on more dates or this is what venus retrograde is calling for you guys to do for those of you in a relationship like going on more dates um just bringing the fun and play back into the relationship because i feel like there's just been a lot of like maybe a lot of stress and i'm wondering if some of you guys are parents if you're in a relationship right now, maybe some of you guys are parents or like, and you guys have kids together, or maybe you have kids with somebody else, but you're, you still have a partner and like things have been stressful. Oh, uh oh. Wow. Okay. So maybe that was confirmation for some of you guys. <laughs> um, and you're okay. So maybe for some of you guys, you're, you're maybe having issues with your, children's father or children's mother and they're being called you're being called to make peace within that so that if you're in a relationship with someone else that there's like less stress in the relationship okay I hope I'm not getting confusing but I do feel like for those of you in a relationship right now there is a need to um bring romance back into the relationship and and let go of the stress and allow yourself to let loose a little bit because I think a lot of you guys have been working you've been doing parent stuff you've been dealing with a lot and yeah I feel like Venus retrograde is going to bring fun back into your relationship so for those of you that are not in a relationship though I feel like there's someone here though I feel like even though there you, there's some of you guys here that are single there is someone here. I feel like you're kind of talking to someone. There's someone that you like or something. And I feel like, because especially how this says romantic feelings, your, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. So, and then even with let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with somebody where things are maybe not official, Okay, maybe um, maybe things are not official and spirit is saying to give this person a chance because I think for some of you guys, it's like you 
you hear that you you hear that that's literally confirmation okay like there's part of you that's like oh i don't know if i can trust this person i don't know i don't know and if you're not if you're currently not in a relationship and you don't have anyone yet there's someone coming into your life and you're gonna be feeling like "Ah, is this too good to be true especially because look we have your feelings are real and worth exploring so I feel like someone's going to come in kind of for those of you that have no one currently that you're talking to and you're just going to kind of be like, is this real? Is this really happening? Can I really trust this person? Like maybe they're kind of different from the usual type that you go for and but you like you feeling them though <laughs> and spirit is saying yes to, to move forward, to, to move forward with this connection or whatever um and then for those of you that are already dealing with this person i think you're you're already in that space of questioning like can i trust this person like they're not my usual type but i'm very attracted to them or i'm very much i'm liking where things are going but then you know you get in your head a little bit and then it kind of makes you feel like bro what i don't know i don't know i don't know like and you start questioning things so I feel like for for you guys, Venus retrograde is gonna allow you to release all those fears and just kind of see where things go, and just kind of think like, I mean, I don't know where this is going, but I like how this person makes me feel. Okay. Um. So we also have. <laughs> I cannot make this shirt up okay i did not look at these cards what do we have here the worrier i can handle whatever life brings me i can't make this shit up look confirmation confirmation wait can y'all see that confirmation bruh literally i really do feel like for some of you guys like that are single and dealing with someone you're worried you're worried that like if you you know you give this person okay look it's the confirmations for me it's the confirmations for me so you're worried like if you give your heart to this person will like is it worth your time and energy whether it's like someone that you because for like i said for y'all that are single that aren't dealing with anyone someone is coming in i feel like possibly during retrograde or maybe they already did they already did and y'all are like before retrograde and you're just kind of like oh, i guess i'll see where it goes you know what i mean but you're just like yo i don't know like this seems too good to be true i don't know i don't know okay and then for those of you guys that are in a relationship I think you guys both have been a little worried because you guys have been stressed about something. There's something you've been stressed about, whether it's bills, career, um, stuff with your kids, just stress. There's been a lot of stress, maybe even health stuff. There's been a lot of stress put onto the relationship and you're just like, yo, like, will we ever get out of this place of worry or this place of stress? But I do feel like you guys will. And then even how it says I can handle whatever life brings to me. You guys are going to get through this. For those of you in a relationship. What, like if y'all are experiencing a lot of stress together. Y'all will get through it. Or like if y'all are experiencing a rough patch. Y'all will get through this. Okay. And then the future. Wow. 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 I plan for the future with respect for the unexpected. So this goes along with literally what I said. I just love when this happens. <laughs> this is why I love doing these readings. Okay. So I love I love when this happens because the fact that I said that, like with up here, I was talking about how for those of you that are not in a relationship, I definitely feel like there's someone there. There's someone that you're already kind of dealing with um, and you're kind of worried you're worried about can i trust this person is this person real like i don't know i don't know and how i was just saying i think venus retrograde is going to help you with just letting go of those worries and those fears and just 
be present now and to say like, you know, I don't know how this, where this will go, but I like how they make me feel right now. But the fact that we have the future here though, I feel like for those of you that are kind of dealing with like, there's someone that you're feeling or whatever. I feel like you have a future with this person. And I think it's, it's kind of unexpected. Maybe you guys unexpected or like got together unexpectedly. You kind of, you met your, met this person unexpectedly. Um, maybe this is like an old friend or someone you dealt with like in the past past that came back unexpectedly. But something is unexpected here <laughs> for some of you guys that has made you worried about where things are about to go. <laughs> Okay, but for those of you guys that are in a relationship, I feel like, yeah, this Venus retrograde is going to help you with just releasing fears about the future because I definitely feel like y'all just been stressed. I don't know what's going on. Like I'm getting a few ideas in my head. I'm feeling like some of you guys, maybe your, your partner was sick or maybe you were sick. Or maybe like something was going on with finances and it's it's something. It's it's something that uh is going on that has put a lot of stress on the relationship. And maybe it's like a repeated fight that you guys keep getting into. But there's just a lot of stress on the relationship right now. And I feel like uh spirit is trying to first of all help you guys with releasing all fears about y'all's future possibly financially or with your health or you know but i also feel like y'all are gonna have like a real talk you and this you and your partner are gonna have a real talk and to be like um you know this is this is how i feel and they'll say hey, this is how they feel but i feel like y'all are gonna have like a real talk because you guys have a future with one another. You guys are meant to be together for the long haul. So it's like, I think this Venus retrograde is going to help you guys. Like y'all are going to have a real talk where you guys can get on the same page. Okay, so, okay, let's move on. The tower reversed. Yeah, so... I definitely feel like, like I said, for those of y'all in a relationship, I definitely feel like there was some type of stress on this relate on y'all's relationship. Like y'all probably experienced some type of tower moment, like whether it was health, whether it was, um, it was finances, something, something that has put stress on the relationship. Maybe one person is gone all the time. Maybe y'all are both working all the time. Maybe like something or maybe the romance is gone. But I don't know. Romance, I don't think would necessarily fit under this tower card. But there was something that happened that kind of shook, shook things up a little bit and made you guys kind of worried about what the future holds. Or whatever but with this tower with this tower being reversed i think it's like y'all are past that now the, those things are like you guys are getting past the, that difficult point in your life this venus retrograde is helping you guys get through like get past that difficult chapter and then for those of you guys that are like it's y'all are just dating someone right now it's not like official or anything i do feel like yeah, you're going to be releasing, you're going to be releasing fears or this Venus retrograde is going to help you with releasing fears in like going with the flow of this new partnership or when this new partnership gets, comes into your life. Because I feel like you personally are, you are going through a transformation. Like you're going through a, a transformation right now. And I feel like with so many of the changes going on in your life, it kind of makes you afraid of like what what this partnership could be, this new person. So you're just like, I mean, is this real? Like, is this real? Okay, and then for those of you that have not met your boo yet, I feel like this is coming. This is coming and you are going to be a little bit like, yo, what is this like? This almost feels too good to be true. And then I think other things are going to be happening for you in your life as well, where you are 
um, maybe making changes in your career or changes in your your diet or just like big changes in your lifestyle and it's going to be attracting someone and I feel like this person that you're attracting even though you'll be very much attracted to them it's like it's just going to be different for you it's they're going to be different from someone from everyone you've ever dated and if you're currently talking to someone right now they're different from anyone you've ever dated I feel like okay um and then yeah look we got knight of cups here <laughs> oh my goodness i love this we have knight of cups because this first of all those of you that are single if you're dealing with someone right now even though you're a quote-unquote single quote unquote but there's someone you're talking to i definitely feel like they are crazy about you they're definitely crazy about you and will be bringing a lot of romance in your life. Oh, yep, romantic feelings, okay? They're crazy about you and will be bringing a lot of romance into your life. And then if you haven't met this person, they're coming. They're definitely coming. And I feel like that's what this Knight of Cups represents. And then for those of you that are in a relationship, this is definitely indicating that there's a need to bring more romance into the relationship because things have just been a little rough. Things have just been a little rough for you guys and um, it's time for things to, for you guys to enter a new phase of the relationship where things are not so like rough, you know? Um, and then for those of you that are dealing with someone or, I keep saying dealing, I don't like saying it like that, but let's say you're just kind of casually dating someone right now um, or you're you haven't met anyone that you're dating right now. I think, like I said, they're going to be different than anyone you've ever dated. Okay? And I feel like it's going to like kind of make you feel like, whoa, what the hell? Like, what is this? What is this? Um, and then Ace of Wands here. So, yeah. Yep, there's some, there's a new person coming. <laughs> or there is a new p person that has entered. Or re-entered your life. And I feel like another thing with Venus retrograde for you guys, I think it's going to be turning up your, your sex life. <laughs> your sex life is going to be lit. <laughs> it's going to be lit. That's what I'm getting from this Ace of Wands here. Is going to be lit. And then look, we have three of swords, but reversed. Uh, so yeah, I feel like many of you guys are healing from a stressful period in your relationship or even healing from past heartbreak. Because I feel like that's a reason why, like, if you're currently casually dating someone, you're kind of like, I don't know about this because you're, you're still healing. Like you've been healing from a past heartbreak. But I feel like, yeah, you're going to be healing. Like, there's just going to be a lot of healing going on for you. Like, your heart is really going to be healing during um, this Venus retrograde. And I also feel like there's going to be a new person in there that's also giving you some uh, some healing. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. All right. So, let's see. Oh, look, we have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So, hmm, maybe you're dealing with an Aries. What do you need to release? Yeah, like a lot of you guys are releasing fears around relationships. I feel like you're releasing a lot of fears around relationships and, um, um, and then also releasing the stress. For those of you guys that are already in relationships, you're releasing stress that was put onto the relationship because of certain issues you guys were going through. I'm sorry, y'all. My slipper done fell off and I'm trying to get it back on. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. And then, uh, with it's time to take action. It just makes me think of what I said with the romantic feelings and it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I definitely feel like if there's someone new that has entered your life, don't be afraid to like, you know, like, 
get to know them and kind of like let them in a little bit though. And then also for those of you guys that have not met anyone yet, I see someone coming towards you. I definitely see someone coming towards you with this. It's time to take action. They might have Aries in their chart. Or maybe you have Aries in your chart. But uh, look, I cannot make this up. Look, we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. And I literally just said someone is coming. <laughs> someone is coming. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, my mind is... I'm being bad today. Um, <laughs> I did say your sex life was going to be lit, okay? <laughs> so, let me stop. Let me stop. But um, <gasps> someone is entering your life. <laughs> someone is entering your life. And um, I definitely see that for you guys. But... The fact that we have Gemini here definitely makes me think of what I said for those of you guys that are in partnerships already. Y'all are going to be having important conversations. I definitely see y'all having important conversations and talking things out and working on your partnership. But for those of you that are not dating anyone casually or partnered up for real, um, they're coming. They're on the way. And then for those of you guys that are casually dating... I feel like you and this person, y'all are going to be talking more. Like I see you letting them into your world more. Or that's what Venus retrograde, the energy will make you want to do. Like allow this person or something like into your world more. Okay. And then last card we have here. Oh my God. <laughs> my good sis. My good sis Oshun. That is so funny. Okay, because literally, Ashun, I mean, has been making herself known to me recently. Because um, I have a painting I made of her on my altar. So let's let's see what Oshun talking about real quick. Okay, it says, I honor my unique... Uh, or no, I honor my uniqueness and my self-worth. The message that Oshun relays is that it's important to stand your ground and understand your worth. Know that you are the only one who can give yourself the true approval and it's okay to put your opinions and feelings first. Do not get weighed down by voices of others who may be intimidated by your presence. If you are acting out of love and with respect for others, then you have no reason to let others speak less of you. Stand tall in your beauty and your uniqueness. Remain confident in yourself and speak up for yourself and keep your head high. Journal prompt. What are a few of my favorite things about myself? Okay, so yeah, I do think like you're going to be having important conversations. Like I said, you're going to be having important conversations with your partner or with someone you're dating or something. But I also feel like... Um, This is making me think of what I was talking about as far as not trusting, like you kind of like not having trust or not trusting certain people or not. Well, yeah, kind of not sure if you should trust who you're casually dating or something because you're like, is this too good to be true? And because you've dealt with a lot, you've dealt with a lot, but I feel like this person like it says, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And I feel like the fact that you made standards for yourself and was deciding to not just accept BS is what is bringing this per this different type of person into your life. Because like I said, this is if you're if you if someone or not if because someone is about to enter your life and is they're not like anyone you've ever dated. OK, they're like no one you've ever dated. And I think it's because you're, you've started to set higher standards for yourself. Okay. So that was your reading pile. Number one, if it resonated with you, let me get a, let's see, let's see. Do they have peacocks on, uh, as an emoji? 
Okay, if there's peacock emojis, let me get a peacock emoji in the comments or like a star emoji in the comments if this reading resonated with you. Okay, so yeah, uh, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new. Make sure you go to housemystic.com to get my bag, that bag that, you know, you chose for this pile called One with the Universe. Okay, um, that's available in all of my other items from the venus retrograde collection and all of my other art and witchy creations and then also if you feel called to tip me um those links are in the description and in the comment section and then what else i think that's it i hope you have a great rest of the day and i'll talk to you again soon peace hello 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 those of you that chose pile number two with the number seven 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 but with the bag from my website, House Mystic, um, Creator 222, okay? So let's get into your reading all about how Venus retrograde will be transforming your love life. Okay, this is my second time filming this because I filmed it and it didn't save. Like it didn't save at all. And I was filming for like a good 30 minutes. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I guess this, <laughs> this message will be better suited for you guys. We'll see, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay. So we have, hmm, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. And then we also have, hmm, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Okay. And then we have... Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Oh, what is that? Okay. Okay, so what am I getting from this? This is very interesting because we have pay attention to the red flags, but then we also have getting to know each other. Okay. Um, and retreat. Okay, so I feel like for you guys, pile number two, how... Venus retrograde is going to be transforming your love life. I'm wondering if like, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting multiple messages here because it's making me think that y'all are going to like, for those of you that are in relationships, you guys are going to be, it's, it's making me think of what I said in pile one, like having real conversations, like having um, more, not because I want to say in depth conversations, but well, yeah, in depth conversations, but kind of like where you, it's like, you're not being afraid to express how you really, really feel, especially because with the red flags being here, it's making me think that like, maybe there, for those of you in a relationship that it's like something your partner been, has been doing or something you've been doing that's kind of like your partner feels some type of way or you feel some type of way and you're you guys are gonna have like some real raw and honest conversations about it okay and then for those of you guys that are not in relationships I feel like and let's say you're just casually dating something I said something someone okay and you're kind of looking at certain things like, oh, this is a red flag. This this is a red flag. But I feel like you should bring it up. <laughs> I think you should bring it up. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you are casually dating someone that it's like y'all are have y'all are also gonna have like some real conversations where you're just kind of like yeah, you do this and it makes me feel like this and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't I don't like that. You know, just kind of like letting your feelings be known. And then also also for some of you guys, I also wouldn't be surprised if like cuz okay, so cuz another message I'm getting is like some of you guys may be noticing red flags within a partnership that causes you to be like I'm I'm done I'm done with this because 
is too many red flags and I can't I can't deal with this and then it's making it's now making room for someone else but I'm just getting multiple messages here Let, let's just see what else comes up yep look the reputable I live my life as if my guardian angels are watching over me and that's 34 oh wow that's that equals seven isn't that interesting and then we have the lustful I embrace my sexuality or I embrace my individuality and sexuality as sacred gifts. Okay. Okay. So this is interesting. This is this is interesting. So I'm feeling like for some of you guys that are that are single, I feel like you're not letting <laughs> You're not letting your lust run you. <laughs> and what I mean by that is you're like, I think you're being smarter when it comes to who you give your time and energy to. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, be, you're being smart about who you give your time and energy to because maybe you've dealt with a lot of like, bs okay maybe you've dealt with a lot of bs and it made you it's it's starting to make you more cautious about things so like you don't just allow yourself to be like oh my goodness this person is so perfect and uh, like you're not allowing that um that what am i trying to say like you're you're thinking about everything not just like the lust okay like you're like you being attracted to this person you're not thinking just about the attraction you're thinking about everything like you're thinking about your future you're thinking about your present you're thinking about like how it affects how this will affect you how this like you're just you're looking at everything so it's making you a lot more cautious when it comes to your dating life and so you're not just dating anyone. And you heard that honk, didn't you? You heard that honk. <laughs> so for those of you that are single or casually dating, I definitely feel like you're becoming a lot more cautious in relationships or in your dating life because you're like, okay, I can't just jump in head first into things. I have to like think about things first and get to know this person first and see like is this really someone i see in my future is this someone that like especially if some of you guys have kids like maybe you have kids and you're dating right now and that's also making you cautious and you're like okay let me get to know this person and see oh wow 7-eleven okay let me get to know this person to see if this is really worth my time and energy because you know you're not just about to introduce just anybody to your children um or um oh sorry i thought they were calling my name but yeah i just see you being more cautious and getting to know people and not just jumping into things for those of you that are like casually dating single you know whatever um but if you are in a relationship yeah i definitely see you addressing certain things within your relationship that makes you uncomfortable where you're like okay why are you doing this like why are you like stop doing this you stop doing that and then for some of you guys though i see you seeing red flags within a relationship and then deciding to be like i'm done with this i i can't i can't especially because retreat is here Definitely makes me think for some of you guys, you are going to be retreating from someone because you are, you see these red flags and it's like, maybe, and maybe you, this is a conversation you guys had over and over and they're not changing. And then that's what's making you be like, okay, I'm going to retreat now. But you know, like I said, if you're in a secure relationship, it could be just that you guys are addressing, like either they're calling you out or you're calling them out, <laughs> but someone's getting called out. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else. Look, all these, all these confirmations. Okay, 
confidence is your key your key to success new moon and leo okay so it's funny because when i filmed this at first there was another fixed sign that came out was it i think it was aquarius yes and i was talking about the fixed signs and then i was talking about um I, dang, I can't even remember now. I wish I could, but I did say maybe you're dealing with someone that has fixed energy in their chart, which is Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. What's the other one? Aquarius. They could have one of those signs in their chart. Um, yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> so maybe that you're dealing with a fixed sign. Maybe you have a lot of fixed energy in your chart or something, but yeah i see you being cautious i see you being a lot more cautious and then you know even though leo is bold leo is a fixed sign okay um leo is a fixed sign and they can be very bold but as someone me that has a lot of leo in their chart i would say personally and i noticed this about other leos as well is that they have big hearts they have big hearts but then it's like when certain things have happened over and over again, it makes them like be very cautious and very much like it's hard for them to get over things. OK, I'm talking about myself, too. OK, like I said, I have mad Leo in my chart. So th the reason why I'm bringing that up is because this is why you're being cautious. I feel like you're being cautious and being like, OK, let me get to know like when you're dating you're like let me get to know this person like deeply before i commit to anything and i feel like in the in the past though you've been the type to maybe jump into things and maybe like overlook red flags you know and i think you're at a point where you're deciding to not do that anymore and then for those of you in a relationship you're like i cannot overlook these certain issues within our relationship anymore and we have to talk about it and if you can't fix it then this needs to be over and for some of you guys you're it's already over because of the red flags that you know okay um but then the fact that it says confidence is your key to success it's making me think like don't be afraid to yeah like speak your truth speak your mind okay speak your mind especially if there's like even something that you're noticing like i said in a relationship that you're like no like i can't i can't take this anymore and i'm out of here or no we gotta solve this within our relationship excuse me or you are like getting to know this person and whatever like this whoever this new person could possibly be you're getting to know them and through being open and expressing yourself, you will find that hmm, maybe this is a dope person. Maybe I should keep talking to them or you know what I mean? But I see you possibly opening up more, like expressing your raw feelings. I think I said that at the beginning. Yeah. A new start is coming. Okay. New moon. Oh, wow. And this is new moon too. Okay. So the new moon in Leo is coming up well it's i think it's in august if i'm not mistaken but you know the venus retrograde is in leo it is in leo and then leo season is coming up next so maybe this new moon in leo will be causing you to yeah have these important conversations and not be afraid to you know but then for some of you guys it could be like this. I, I just feel like many of you guys in this group are dating someone new or you will be dating someone during Leo season, like where you guys are like possibly casually dating and getting to know each other or whatever. Um, yeah. And I see you kind of like, yeah, maybe being more expressive within this relationship partner whatever this is if you're not in a committed relationship i see you like being more outspoken or something in this partnership and maybe in previous partnerships you weren't 
so outspoken. Maybe you were more on the quiet side and kind of just let shit slide. Yeah, with these with these red flags, like you would just let stuff slide and slide and slide and slide. And you're at this point, you're not letting stuff slide no more. And you're like, you're deciding to be different. And that's how Venus retrograde is transforming your love life because you are deciding you're not letting shit slide no more. <laughs> and you've probably made a promise to yourself that you're like, okay, whenever I start dating someone new, I'm going to I'm going to let them know how I feel straight up. I'm going to be more straight up. I'm going to, you know, speak my mind more. Okay. And then for those of you in the relationships, like I said, it, I do think there's like a real raw conversation that you guys will be having and it will bring new beginnings in the relationship because it's like, you know, you've, ex you guys are expressing yourself to each other and it's, you know, it's. When you tell, well, it's supposed to be like this. When you tell someone what you don't like and you guys talk about it or whatever, it like brings a new beginning into the relationship because now y'all are moving past whatever that issue was. But I definitely feel like for those of you in partnerships that are not thinking about breaking up, I do think there's like a real, raw, honest conversation that has to happen here and then um but i also feel like for some of you guys though it's some type of breakup unfortunately okay let's okay balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces so the full moon in pisces that's during virgo season which is right after leo season so yeah i do feel like some of you guys are meeting someone during venus retrograde or maybe even shoot maybe after i don't know but i feel like leo season and virgo season are going to be some big seasons for you where you are either dating you're dating someone casually and you're noticing like that you're being cautious because you're like okay i have to think things through and that's why i think even balancing spirituality and practicality like i definitely feel like you're like okay i have to be realistic okay I have to be realistic. I mean, this is cute and all, but like, do I really see this person in my future? Do I really see things working out for us? Like, do I like, and you know, and not even in a way to like overanalyze the situation. I think it's just that you are deciding to be smarter with your heart. Okay. Cause maybe you've just experienced a lot of heartache or you went through a breakup recently or something like that and you're just like okay i i saw those red flags and i don't want that to be in my next relationship so i gotta make sure i'm getting to know people this person or i'm getting you know like you're just moving smarter i see you moving a lot smarter and wow one seven one seven okay because earlier i saw seven eleven so yeah like you just want to make sure i see you like really making sure that you're sure about this person and then yeah couples i definitely feel like i'm wondering if some of you guys are y'all fighting with something having to do with money for for couples and maybe one person is spending a lot of money and the other person's like why are you spending all this money um i don't know i'm hearing that for a certain this, that might be for a certain person, but I definitely feel like your for those of you in relationships, I, I feel like, um, yeah, y'all are needing to discuss something, maybe something having to do with money, something having to do with, yeah, like your resources or something like that, where you have to be like, look, you can't be spending all this money or like, look, you can't be doing this all the time you can't be doing that all the time like you know not in a in a controlling way but i feel like there's some type of issue that kind of keeps popping up over and over within the relationship and now is the time to see if like you guys can fix it or let it go and for some of you ouch for some of you guys you may decide to let it go 
Okay, so Eight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Interesting. The Tower. Okay, so this this came up in the first when I first did this pile for you guys. Um, so that's good. And oh, yep, Ten of Swords. Okay, so yeah, I do feel like there are quite a few of you that are y'all are noticing red flags within a relationship and you are deciding to be like peace like i'm out of here especially with this ten of swords and this tower reverse like because tower reverse is all about initiating some sort of like change initiating some sort of big change because you're you're seeing where things are going you're seeing where things are going and you're like okay I can't, I cannot take this anymore. And you're deciding to be like, peace, I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> um, and then for some of you guys, oh no. And then for some of you guys, um, sorry, I got interrupted, but like for some of you guys though, that are like, I'm not, I'm not breaking up with my boo. That's my boo for life and da, da, da. I feel like there is, it's almost, it makes me think of like what they be saying. It should be you and your partner against the problem. And yeah, I definitely feel like you guys are laying something to rest once and for all. Maybe a, a fight that y'all keep having Something y'all keep like, yeah, not being able to agree on or something that your partner is always calling you out on or something you're always calling your partner out on. I think y'all are finally laying it to rest and being like, like, we don't like, let's solve this issue so that we're able to move on and not keep coming back to the same argument, the same fight every time, every day. Like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, but I also, yeah, I'm just really feeling like a lot of people that's going to be picking this pile are going to be single. Like I, I am trying to include the relationship stuff in here, but I feel like a lot of people that's choosing this pile are single or newly single because I feel like, I don't know why I'm sensing like, cause when I first did this, when I first recorded this, that's what I was sensing. And now that I'm looking at this, I see I'm thinking it again. Like you guys, many of you in here are single, like newly single or will be during Venus retrograde um, because you're noticing that maybe you've settled for less or you you're not getting what you deserve. You're not. Um, yeah, you're not getting what you deserve out of the relationship or maybe even maybe you had a maybe it's not a recent breakup or whatever but you are noticing or or you're deciding that in your next relationship when it comes along you are going to be more bold and more outspoken and you're going to pay attention to all the red flags and just like so that you're not repeating that same cycle like i i see this this pile in particular you're you've noticed for for those of you that are single you've noticed a certain pattern with the relationships that you've attracted you you're noticing a pattern and you're like okay how do i break this cycle and i think one way is by really deeply getting to know someone before deciding to commit so that's what i think for those of y'all that are single okay so last card we have here amatrine Okay, so wow, I already know. I kind of remember, where's the book at? I kind of remember what this card has to do with. And it's actually kind of going along with what I said. Okay, yep, I am greater than my habits. And it says, even though we may not think it, we all have some type of habit that we would benefit from removing from our life. Whether it's eating junk food or spending a little too much time on social media, there is a better substitute that we could be turning to. Emetrine is here to support you in the process of overcoming what no longer serves you and finding ways for you to channel your time and energy in more productive and beneficial ways. Didn't I say that? I literally said, like, you're 
like wondering or or thinking more about like your time and your energy are you investing it in the right people <laughs> so um okay where okay where do we go? okay amatrine is here to support you in the process of overcoming oh I, I read that okay pick up a book the next time you reach for your phone or look for a more natural alternative to your favorite snack the hardest part is acting on Oh, yeah, acting on change. But the universe has faith in you and will stand by you the whole way. Journal prompt. What are a few habits I could improve improve upon? So literally, 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 <laughs> literally, okay? I feel like I don't even need to say anything else, okay? So if this pile resonated with you, let me get a fish emoji for the balanced spirituality and practicality card, Okay? <laughs> Let me get a fish emoji in the comments, okay? Um, so, yes, that bag that you chose for pile number two, um, which is called Creator 222, is available on housemystic.com. And all of the other items from my Venus Retrograde collection is available on housemystic.com. Um, my Venus, I said Venus vibes, Venus Retrograde collection um, basically has items that were recreated revamped restyled by your girl twan the mystic um like that purse that was another that was a re restyled revamped <laughs> um item by me and all of that's all of my art and witchy creations are all on housemusic.com so definitely check it out and then if you feel called to tip me that the links are in the description follow me on all social media platforms um yeah i hope you have a great rest of the day and i'll talk to you again soon peace Hello, hello, hello. What's up, those of you that chose pile number three with the number 1010, but with the bag Divine 777, okay? That bag is available on housemystic.com and um, along with all the other items for my Venus Retrograde collection, which are all items that have been painted and revamped and repaired by your girl twan the mystic okay so yeah definitely go check it out i have tons of really cute clothing and accessories and artwork on there as well so go check it out okay so let's get into your reading all about how venus retrograde is going to be transforming your love life okay so first we have engagement whoa Okay, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And then we have this could be the one. Whoa. <laughs> this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting. And then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, this is... This is interesting because what am I getting from this? <laughs> well, especially because we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then also we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Okay. So for some reason, even though this is about your love life, I feel like Spirit wants me to talk to you. Well, I'm clearly I'm talking to you, but like talk more about you, okay? Because I feel like we are, like I said, we are talking about your love life, but for some reason, the message that's coming through for you is there's a need to be more committed to you. Like there's a need to be more committed to you and maybe your goals, your dreams, especially if you have issues with codependency maybe like as far as like certain habits that's just you know not serving you and this is already making me think of pile two so if you felt called towards pile two maybe check it out if you want to but it's making me think that there's certain habits that you are breaking and then that's what's kind of like helping you to attract love in your life because yeah because with this engagement card it's making me think like 
you have been saying, oh, I'm going to work out more. Oh, I'm going to eat better. Oh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then maybe you have not, (laughs) maybe you have not, maybe you have not been keeping your promises to yourself. And I feel like spirit is saying to keep more of your promises to yourself. And that's, what's going to attract more commitment and I know that probably sounds crazy right but it makes me think of like you know the law of attraction you are what you attract well not all the time because sometimes people are just weird but for the most part we're attracting things that are in alignment with our vibration so I feel like if you are looking for more commitment in your love life oh confirmation If you are looking for more commitment in your love life, um, spirit is saying to commit to you first, commit to you. Cause I know, I know we're talking about your love life, but spirit is wanting me to specifically talk about you. Okay. Um, but the fact that we have, you know, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek, I think is very interesting. Um, so if you're in a relationship and you've been like questioning, you know, this relationship, yeah, this is the one, okay? This is the one, and maybe some of you guys will be discussing marriage. Maybe they may surprise you and get engaged, or not get engaged, but, like, you may su- get surprised and get engaged, or if you are the one, or maybe you are going to be asking someone to marry you, <laughs> maybe you're asking someone to marry you or something, Um, or it could be like for some of you guys, Venus retrograde. I mean, I, I would advise (laughs) because I was going to say maybe some of you guys end up making things official within, like if you're dating someone, maybe you guys like make it official and decide to be like committed or whatever. Um, but I would advise to do that like after retrograde. (laughs) I personally would advise it, but maybe at this time, you guys, maybe this, you're like letting it be known how you feel about this person, or they're letting it be known to you, like how they feel about you. And it's like, that's a step um, that you guys are taking where it's like kind of more committed or something. I don't know, but. I do feel like for there is like some type of offer coming in or like or more commitment coming in, even if it's not like you guys are actually getting engaged. Some of you guys, I do think engagement, marriage, I would not be surprised if that's in that something you guys are discussing or it may happen. But there's like I see. For those of you guys that are like not with and like you're just casually dating, it could be that you guys start being like or start deciding to be because I don't want to say serious, but at the, it's almost like you guys decide to maybe just talk to each other, even if it's not a serious thing. I'm trying to touch all the bases here, okay? I'm trying to touch all the bases of how this could go. But yeah, let's just go ahead and move on and see what other cards come up. Look, 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 the lovers, okay? The lovers. And it says, I attract love, abundance, success, happiness, and fulfillment. What? What did I say? Okay, what did I say? Because I really feel like with this engagement card, like I said, and with the engagement and codependency card, I feel like you are, it's like spirit is asking you to commit to yourself because the more you commit to yourself, the more you attract someone that wants, or not, The more you attract commitment, okay? When you commit to yourself, you attract commitment. But for most of you, I feel like you're there's already someone here, especially because it says this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. 
So, this might be someone from your past coming back in. Or it could be like you're, art, like you're with someone already and you're like, huh. Hmm, maybe, maybe we could like move forward with this thing. Cause I'm like, it's, it's seeming like a situation ship for some of you guys. It's seeming like a situation ship or like I said, it could be like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and you guys are, dis are deciding to start discussing marriage and stuff like that. Um, and engagement and things like that. But I do feel like, yeah, you spirit is wanting you to be more committed to yourself. And it just kind of makes me think of something that one of my friends said on his live. Um, and it was just so funny uh, that he said that because it's literally going along with this message because he was saying something about like, oh, for some of you guys, I feel like you're in a situation ship or something like that. And maybe this person or whatever, they're not sure about you, but you, when you start making decisions about your career and decisions about what you're going to do and not going back on your word, you, um, you will find that there will be more commitment in this, whatever this is. And it's literally going along with what I'm, I was saying in this message. So yeah, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have the improviser. I effortlessly adapt to deal with unexpected circumstances. Interesting. Okay. Um, I actually want to see what, what other cards come up first. Okay. The King of Wands. Okay. So this makes me think this is a person that you're, this is the person you're dealing with. <laughs> Whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your boo thang. <laughs> Your boot thing, they are this king of wands. That's what I'm sensing. Okay. And then the fool. Okay. And interesting. Another king here. King of cups. Huh. And seven of cups reversed. Okay. Okay. Something, okay, this might be, this might be for a specific person here, but with these two kings, I think it's very interesting because it's kind of making me think some of you guys, this could, like I said, a specific person, but some of you guys could be going back and forth, like, or try or trying to choose between two people <laughs> and the fact that we have the commitment card here so maybe you're going back and forth between two people and now and you're like okay what is my decision what decision am, am i going to make as far as should i do should i be with this person should i be with this other person should should i do this should i do that i do think for some of you guys that's the case but for some of you guys I feel like, like, what am I getting here? It's like I'm getting so many different messages. So I'm just wondering if a lot of people are going to be picking this pile. Because, yeah, I'm getting the story of you choosing, maybe having to choose between two people. Um, Yeah, for some of you guys in yeah, and then you finally making a decision around that. But for some of you guys, I'm really feeling like it's it's commitment. You're and and this and I feel like for some of you guys, this especially with this, um, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like someone is coming back into your life unexpectedly. Something has happened unexpectedly, or it could even be um, a new person, a new person. Maybe you met them already or whatever, and you're kind of not really expecting things to go far, but then they kind of do. And with this full card here, it's making me think that you're just kind of like, well, you know, 
Let's just go with it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> let's just see what happens, okay? And then let's let's see because I'm just getting a lot of different stories here. Time, take time to breathe out, okay? Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, so why I feel like some of you guys are leaving one person and moving into something else because the fact that this has to do with take time to breathe out but then we have this is conclusions are within reach but it's just making me think of what a lot of astrologers have been saying about venus retrograde and how and even how we have these um the nodes the nodes are changing um the north node is going to be in aries and the south node is going to be in libra so it just makes me think of something a lot of these astrologers have been saying about like there may be a lot of breakups but then another astrologer was saying but she said it too about the breakups but then she was also talking about with Jupiter and Taurus currently and she was talking about with this in the summer how a lot of people with fixed placements so I'm wondering if you have any fixed placements um she said fixed placements with cardinal placements as well and look we got the End of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So one of the things she was talking about was like how people with fixed and cardinal placements, fixed and cardinal dominance or whatever, are going to be experiencing that shakeup with the with those nodes, which may cause some breakups and you know, things like that. But then was also talking about with Juno or Jupiter being in Taurus and then Juno making, I think she said a conjunction with, with Juno, Jupiter making a conjunction with, with Juno or something like that. And was talking about how like, yeah, fixed and cardinal placements may be finding the love of their lives or whatever. So I'm just wondering if the because we got these two kings here, I'm just wondering if like you're stepping out of one thing and moving into another thing, which no judgment, <laughs> no judgment, but it's also making me wonder if like it it's more so about you because you know we like I said at the beginning, you being more committed to yourself. And I'm wondering, it's like if you're shifting identities, like you're shifting identities, which is making me think of the, you know, the nodes or whatever, like where you are, maybe you were one way and then now you're deciding to become more committed. Like maybe you were more passive. Maybe you didn't always do what you were, you were saying you were going to do. You kind of like maybe started things and then finish it or you're just a little scattered, a little all over the place, but then you're shifting your identity, which is in turn shifting your love life, which is bringing me back to the nose because Aries is individual. Libra is, um, um, like relationships, partnerships and stuff. So, and with it being in the South node, it's, supposedly can bring out like the more um the more what's it called shadow traits of libra which can be like codependency which can be codependency it can be um indecision passiveness you know things like that so i feel like you are stepping out of that. You're stepping out of that codependency, that passiveness, that indecisiveness, that, um, you know, not being committed to what you say you want or whatever. And then deciding to, yeah, shift that identity. And that's what's shifting your love life. I don't know how else to explain it. And then it's also like, and that's why I'm wondering if some of you guys are possibly going through breakups because of the the shift of identity for some of you guys or it could be like if you're single 
this could be like what you're needing to do in order to attract that one where you are like you wait i'm losing my train of thought here but like yeah you committing to yourself is what's going to attract that that person that you want to be with but for many of you guys i really feel like if you're not in a long-term relationship right now i really feel like it's someone from your past coming back someone from your past kind of like coming back and wanting to offer you commitment They're wanting to like offer you some type of commitment or whatever um, or want to, I don't know, kind of like see where things go with you. Um, yeah. But yeah, for those of you in a relationship, I, I really I really feel like you're going to be talking about marriage and engagement and like. Or like just being more committed, moving into moving in with each other, maybe having kids, you know, stuff like that. But I, I don't know. I am talking about a lot of people that are in relationships, but I really feel like a lot of people that's going to be watching this reading will be actually like not in a committed partnership just yet. So I feel like that's why the single, the single messages keep kind of coming out but yes um if you are wanting commitment commit to you and i'm wondering if that is why codependency came out because maybe in past relationships you've made your life or something all about the other person and not about you well or maybe, let me not say not about you, but it's like you got so caught up in the relationship. It's like you forgot about you. And I feel like spirit, even though this is supposed to be like a love reading, I feel like spirit is wanting you to focus on you. Because you're going to, your love life is going to blossom and transform, not by you being like, oh my gosh, let me ask this person out or let me do this, let me do that, let me do this, let me do that. It's going to be more so that you are focusing on you and being committed to you. And when you're focused on you and committed to you, you have no choice but to attract that same energy to you. So I think that's what Spirit is trying to say. Oh, that's what Spirit is trying to say. Look, that was a that was a confirmation. <laughs> And it's so funny, it's my Libra friend, she texts me, and I was talking about um, Aries and Libra, so that's funny. Um, yes, and then maybe the person you're dealing with, I'm wondering if they have like Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Aries in their chart. Maybe you have that in your chart, um, and that's why Spirit is bring, making this more so about you than about your love life, because I feel like the cardinal signs specifically are kind of going to be in the hot seat for the next 18 months because of those nodes. And it is causing all of us, I'm saying all of us, because I am cardinal, cardinal dominant. Excuse me. Um, why I say excuse me? I, I was trying to put my slippers back on. Um, but <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of making the cardinal dominant people like change like change their identity because maybe the relationships you were in the past had had made you lose yourself in some shape or form okay um so yes yeah pile three i i know i know this was supposed to be more so about your love life but spirit spirit wants to talk about you okay spirit wants to talk about you and focus wants you to focus on you because there's nothing in particular that you need to do except focus on you because when you focus on you and do what you need to do you you're going to attract things you're going to attract what you want so yes keep Keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on bettering yourself. That's what's going to transform your love life and help your love life to blossom. And look, another ding. Okay? 
<laughs> okay, from my same Libra friend. Okay, so she she appeared in the reading. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that was your reading pile number three. If it resonated with you, let me get a let me get a goat emoji for for the Capricorn card. Okay. Um, yeah, let me get a goat emoji in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new. If you are interested in the Divine 7 7 bag, that is available on housemystic.com, okay, along with the other dope um, accessories and clothing, all um, revamped, restyled, and repaired by your girl Twan the Mystic. Um, yeah, we have graphic tees, we have retro looking pants, okay? We have jeans that I've painted on and reconstructed and things like that. Just a lot of clothing that has been reconstructed and revamped, okay? You know, get it? Venus retrograde? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, and um, all of that's available at the link in my description or go to housemystics.com. Or um, if you feel like you want to tip your girl, those links are in the description as well. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at Twan the Mystic. All of that's in my description as well. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.